Bing! Bug boom. There we go. Greetings, everybody. BJ Weiler back with you for another Island Warfare Mayhem here this wonderful Friday afternoon, August 24th, 2018. With Strongholds Kingdom. So, how are we looking here? Just a little. Which side is this? Uh, over on this side. That's because I'm probably a little bit too close. Am I? Or is it right? It's right here. Oh, yeah, you know what? It, that's my shadow. That's what. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's my shadow. Where I have to sit. So, I, I have to sit closer. Closer here. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today, Cat, for day 31 of uh, 100 Days of Can't yeah, Gaming so far. With some Caesar 4. Now we're kicking it in with our weekly Stronghold Kingdom stream here. Uh, 69 days to go. We will be in the midst, uh, in the first hour, we'll be racking, wrapping up, as a matter of fact, the first hour of our 25 hour marathon. Uh, in 69 days on November 2nd, 2018. Starting off, not with Stronghold Kingdoms. I sort of changed that plan around. Uh, we're no longer going to start with Stronghold Kingdoms during the marathon. We're going to start with our American Truck and Euro Truck Simulators uh, on multiplayer. Uh, we'll probably be doing at least a little bit of multiplayer. Maybe I'm going to switch back and forth between multiplayer and single player. But I think I'm going to do some multiplayer just depending, well, depending on how things work out on multiplayer. Let's put it that way. I'm going to try to do multiplayer for the, uh, for the uh, two or three hours that I've got planned for the truck sims. But, of course, that all depends on, uh, yeah, uh, everybody else who's going to be on the servers at the time. But, um, yeah, in the meantime, here, fundraising, raising money, playing games for Extra Life to raise money for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We got $80 in of our initial step goal of $250. If I can get $1,000 in before we start the marathon on November 2nd, this stuff here, so you can see, yeah, geez, wow, I really am. Hold on a second. Woo! Wow, that's one receding hairline there. See my, can I see my bald spot? Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep, there's, there's the bald spot. Yeah, there it is. I still got some hair, though. Look at that. Ah, yeah. There we go. I'm going to die. What's I'm going to die? What's left of that purple? If we can, uh, if we can get a thousand dollars in before our marathon. <laughs> but yeah, uh, three hundred and fifty-four dollars in as uh, a team here with Judgment Gaming. Judgment Gaming is my first official. Uh, well, the 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 official team here. Oh, let me. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's readjust that a bit. $354 in. So Battery's been doing some work. Battery H and I are uh, the soul or duo, I guess the duo, team members of Judgment Gaming. So uh, we've got $80 in of that total for our team total. Battery's got the rest of it in. Of course, my initial step goal, $250, like I said. Ultimate goal is that $1,000 for this year. I'm just hoping to get that in before November 2nd because then that would be really, really fun. Um, otherwise, that's uh, that's really it. Um, not much else, uh, except I do have the um, I do have the tentative list here. Let me throw this up because it is below. I, I do have the schedule for the marathon uh, below the live stream window, uh, but I did want to do this too. I'm not sure if this is going to pick it up or not, but let's uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Is this picking up? Oh yeah, it will. Okay, so let's uh, let's switch over here. Um, boop, 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 boop. Let me get that out of the way first. Let's go ahead and switch to that screen, so we can uh, try to see this a little bit easier. Not sure how well this might come up, but uh, right down here, this uh, bob part here is our current tentative. Uh, marathon schedule. Of course, this is the rest. This is our weekly schedule for uh, this week up here. Like I said uh, earlier, tomorrow, family card games for uh, day 32 of 100 Days of Gaming. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to start with the truck simulators at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Going to do about three hours, so about an hour and a half each. It depends. I want to do, uh, I want to do a couple of really long, long hauls. Um, so like, like one long haul in each. Um, so I figure maybe about an hour and a half to get uh, get each of those long hauls done uh, would be nice, and the, that'll help being on Truckers MP because there's no other uh, there's no AI traffic. I just got to deal with the real people traffic, which sometimes could be even worse. Um, 
But anyway, so we're going to start with the truck sims, then we're going to go into World of Warships, and Battery H should be joining us uh, for that gameplay session. Uh, and then we're going to roll right into it with Rocket League. Uh, Battery H should be with us for both uh, Warships and Rocket League for those four hours there. So that'll be fun having Battery play along with us. And of course, anyone else who has World of Warships, uh, Rocket League, or even the Truck Simulators. If you have uh, either American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 and you have the Truckers MP uh, mod, technically it's a mod, uh, installed as well, you can join me. On, uh, we can do a little bit of a convoy uh, on uh, on the truckers and peace uh, servers uh, so you can we can do that too but of course if anybody has world of warships uh, rocket league you can join me for those as well and battery of course that'll always be great fun uh, so as we get into the, the late late night hours uh, after rocket league we're gonna be popping into Conan exiles we just did that one a uh, new game we just picked up um, for a humble bundle as a matter of fact for August uh, or was it July? One of those two months. Um, a survival game. So I don't have too many of those. So, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Conan IP. I do enjoy it. Of course, I saw a couple of the, the classic uh, Schwarzenegger Conan movies. I'm not a really, really big fan of it. But uh, I sort of enjoy the environment. You know, I've been playing Age of Conan off and on for uh, the last couple of years here. And, you know, it's enjoyable. You know, I enjoy both Age of Conan and now uh, with our uh, first foray into Exiles here, I, I found it to be a little bit fun and something different to play. So we're going to throw in Conan Exiles this year for the marathon. Uh, we're going to head back into Defiance. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to do Classic Defiance, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing, or Defiance 2050. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do a little bit of 2050. But I think mainly I'm going to do the Classic Defiance here uh, for our Trial Worlds game. Uh, during the marathon and then perhaps uh, after that we're going to pop into a little bit of Fortnite for a couple hours um, Might as well do something again They're trying to do a little bit something different for the marathon this year instead of doing all the usual uh, Usual games although we do have the core games that we will be playing here um, But that again, this is all tentative. Um, I might actually I'm seriously considering right now changing Fortnite over for uh, perhaps Pizza Express and or um, cook serve delicious too since we just did cook serve delicious too yesterday um, that might be a game that can help me get through those overnight hours as well as pizza express because it's going to require concentration um, which is kind of the key for the marathon here stuff that's going to require concentration will require me to be active moving around and, and thinking a lot to keep me awake through these overnight hours so of course Fortnite would uh, certainly be able to do that but I think uh, both Pizza Express and uh, Cook Serve Delicious 2, two indie games, uh, might also work in that. So we, I, I uh, might uh, might switch those out uh, for that as well. Then we're going to go into some chop video highlights like we just had in our transition here. Uh, highlight some of, uh, you know, highlight Zion's story and Aaron and Abby's story more than likely uh, during this uh, period of time. Also gives me a little bit of a time to break, go get some breakfast, freshen up a little bit. Then right after our chop video highlight, we're gonna pop into some Guild Wars. Get into a classic Guild Wars. I always have Guild Wars uh, on the marathon because that is, of course, our top, our top favorite game of all time, pretty much. Uh, so we're rocking that. Then after that, we're gonna pop into some Heroes of the Storm. Maybe we'll have Battery join us for that as well, since he also has Heroes of the Storm. Uh, and then we're going to take a couple hours break here so I can actually get some shut eye because I am getting older I mean, I could do the 25 hours. I ended up doing the 25 hours last year But I did want to get Aaron some game time some face time as well uh, So we're gonna let Aaron come in for a couple hours to uh, do a little bit of Star Wars the Old Republic her favorite game uh, Then we'll finally get into Stronghold Kingdoms here <laughs> uh, Saturday afternoon, so we're gonna do an hour of Stronghold Kingdoms and then uh, we'll do uh, Lost Lands, which is a hidden object game, which I, I'm, I'm kind of into those games too. So we'll do an hour of Stronghold Kingdoms for our weekly uh, Stronghold Kingdom stream. Then we'll do a little bit of the Lost Lands, a hidden adventure uh, thing. So we could probably get about 45 minutes an hour out of Lost Lands there, just to break it up, do something a little different. And then we're going to wrap the marathon up with Never Winter Online, uh, one of our other... Uh, favorite MMOs to uh, pop in and out of 
on occasion. So the only thing I'm really missing right now, I think, is, is a retro game. So I might want to try to throw a retro game in here, but the thing is, again, you know, I've got to be able to get something in there that's going to keep me up, going to keep me active, going to keep me thinking. Um, so that, that's going to be tough, because like I said, I'd like to be able to do the Caesars or Pharaoh, maybe the classic SimC, Stronghold even. Uh, maybe one of the classic Total Wars, if I could ever get them working, I've been able to get them working yet. Uh, but you got a lot of classic games, some retro games here. Um, maybe do an RPG. I don't know yet, so we'll have to see. So we still, again, we still might be switching some stuff up here because, you know, uh, we don't really have an indie game in here as well. So that's why I'm thinking maybe just we might replace Fortnite with the with the two indie games and then maybe try to maybe try to throw in, um, you know, half an hour or an hour of a retro game somewhere in here as well. So maybe we'll do maybe a couple hours of Neverwinter Online and use that extra hour for a retro game. Um, maybe even the classic wizardry. We might yeah, that that might even, we might even do that. Uh, do the classic wizardry or Eye of the Behold or something like that maybe. But uh, we'll see again. You know, again, uh, generally a tented, you know, pretty much a tentative schedule here. Uh, well, pretty much a set schedule, but uh, the subject to change. Let's put it that way. Subject to change. In the meantime, let's uh, let's rock and roll here. What do we got for you on today's show? We've got lots of goods I'm trading to myself. So we do have donations. We got we got to make here. We got. I want to try to wrap up this this godforsaken uh, parish donation quest uh, today. So we're going to try doing that um, for a battle report of the week. Do, 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 do. It's going to be bandit camps. We're going to be highlighting some of our bandit camp uh, attacks here. Uh, that we've done over the last couple of weeks because we finally got our Lapushin, our Lapu Lapushin army back. Uh, so we've been able to uh, use our Lapu Lapu army uh, to be able to do a lot of the attacking around here, uh, which is nice. So I uh, did some bandit camps and uh, wolf flare attacks, and there was an enemy uh, attack on Blimmin. I do want to take a look at that because Blimmin was devastated again. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be taking a look at bandit camp reports for our battle report of the week and an attack uh, on one of our house uh, members here, Tar, Tars, uh, Tars, uh, my God, I can't pronounce it. Tars Isia, Tars, Tarsikia, Tarsikia. Let's do it that way. Tarsikia. I gotta, I gotta get the inflection. Uh, whichever syllable has the inflection, I gotta get that right. Tarsikia was attacked by a rogue player here, so we'll take a look at that. Um, otherwise, just snake attacks here. Let's just clear these out. All right, waving on just to see if there's anything of note here. We were ransacked uh, several times throughout the last couple of weeks, but we've shown those um, periodically. So it's like I just want to keep the reports menu as short as that. Uh, and there's a ransack as short as possible uh, for this week. Bordonia. So let's get into Bordonia and rebuild our woodcutter's hut here. Real quick. Oh, you know what? I gotta write this down too. I gotta write down my notes here. Walk down my notes. What is it? Day, it's day 933, by the way, uh, on Island Warfare here. Day 933. Oh, you know what? I forgot to set my stream marker too. Oh, too late now. So I already got rocking in and rolling with that. So that's fine. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so let's. Uh, oh, for God's sake, stop it. Uh, Bordonius needs... Oh my god, come on. Let's click the right buttons here. Uh, woodcutter. So let's see. First things first, we've got to turn all these guys off. Turn them all back on. Get our other peasant back here. Who's been held hostage after the ransack. Uh, did say Bordonius, right? Where was this guy? Is he back there? Oh yeah, got to be back here then. Back on the other side, 215. Because uh, it looked like that would be a perfect spot for it, but it's not going to go. 210, 212. Yeah, it looks like it was right there. So six hours of that will be done. Uh, let's go here. Do this one. 
Rock and roll. Still waiting for uh, four more flags. We need four more flags and we can throw down another set of barracks here. But uh, in fact, let's, let's take a look at this. Um, right now, House 13, this is it. This is the last glory round of Age 2. Uh, age 2 is ending. These are the final days of Age 2 here. So uh, right now, House 13 has 805,000, uh, uh, almost 806,000 uh, glory points out of the million they need. So they only need... Uh, they need less than 2 million uh, points here. Uh, so the age change uh, switched over six days ago. So not quite a week ago. Um, and we were eliminated. We were there. We made the top three. House one. Look at that, baby. House one made the top three. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah. So uh, more than likely, age three is going to start on Tuesday. Uh, which gives me, let's see, we still, I think I still need today's flags. Um, I think, well, even, even so, let's say, uh, three flags, that, that might be, what's, so we need Saturday would be four, Sunday would be five, Monday would be six, so Tuesday, of course, uh, during the, on the day of the age change, uh, would be the day that we get the seventh, seventh flag, um, that we need for our barracks that just figures i i would be hoping to throw down the barracks before the age change but maybe may, maybe we'll get lucky and be able to uh throw the barracks down before the age change here but we'll see um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. only one please thank you hope i just didn't send all three out there uh let's see here nope okay uh, just go ahead while we're here. Let's go trounce this guy. Okay. So yeah, so this will be our last stream here for Age 2 on, uh, Island Warfare. When next we stream in two weeks, um, yeah, we're, we're actually not going to stream Stronghold Kingdoms next week uh, as much as I would like to because of the age change. Uh, fortunately, I guess I was going to say unfortunately, but really fortunately, we're going to take a mini family vacation uh, of a day or two because uh, we actually didn't get a, a, a real vacation this year, unfortunately, due to uh, the circumstances we've talked about earlier in the summer, uh, Mrs. Weiler losing her job. But uh, everything's working out for her, by the way. Uh, at her new job, everything's going good, so we're in good shape now. So we figured, uh, you know, she's going to have a couple of days off. Uh, it's my normal weekend off, so we figured we'll take we'll take a day or two to uh, relax, have some fun. So there will be no Stronghold Kingdom stream next week, but I did say earlier during our 100-day stream that I will attempt to stream... Uh, 100 days of gaming because I do want to keep I do want to keep that challenge going of streaming for 100 consecutive days so I'm uh, gonna do King's Quest uh, next week for 100 days of gaming King's Quest 1 uh, so I'm hoping or King's Quest 2 you know what let me, uh, let me take a look here so I have King's Quest 1 and 2 scheduled for that weekend because I can stream them easily on this system um, I want my notes here. I just don't recall which day I'm streaming which one. Come on, you bloody spreadsheet. Who we got? Uh, what do we got here? Rough seas today. Yeah, rough seas. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, so fr yes. Next Friday will be King's Quest 1. Then Saturday we'll be doing King's Quest 2. Uh, and the rest of the week, actually, after after Sunday, uh, we'll be doing Civilization 3 through 6. Which means I'm going to have to get them installed this weekend. Ooh, dear. Definitely going to have to install them. Yeah, we'll be starting Civilization 3 on Monday and going right into Thursday with Civ 6. So that'll be fun. Uh, but let's see what we've got rocking and rolling here. So nothing too much to worry about up here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab this because we can sell some. Uh, we can sell some silk here, which we will do right now. Um, we'll we'll just sell that. There we go. All right. Boom. 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 All right. Alright, so let's take a look at this wolf's attack real quick. Peasants go. You know what? I gotta do some research too. Oh my god, are you serious? Why have you stopped working? Why have you stopped working? It's the first time that's happened. Okay. Well let's uh let's fire you up again, shall we? That was interesting. Game couldn't handle the peasants going to harm the catapults. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can get back in here. Alright, here we go. There we go, thank you. Yeah, see, that's sort of... That's sort of... Loop-de-loot our... Uh, that's right, so it's just those were got repeated, okay. Alright. I, I was worried that would screw up my uh, ports menu, but uh, let's get let, let's take a look at that again. Our five lowly peasants. I do I, I as as I was in the middle of saying, um, yeah, I gotta do some research too. I forgot to do some research the last couple of days here. Still got a ton of points uh, of research to get going here. Yep, there we go. Look at them. They got him. Get them catapults, you peasants. Oh, our peasants. Boom. But the ransack still succeeded. Oh, how aggravating. All right, so that was built. So we don't have to worry about that. Monk restoration. So we're curing our disease. You're we're curing our plague. Although, eh, no, it's just a disease. What is this? It does tell you. It is the slight sniffles. we got a case of the slight sniffles right now. Uh, the snake has launched an attack against Bordonia. Or, uh, Balasar, I think. Yep. All right, so let's go in here. Let's get our repairs done real quick here. And this is why you shouldn't leave your back line exposed. There you go. <laughs> Let's get our reports and then we'll throw in some research here. Good, not much in the way that we have to do any repairs today. Here we go. We gotta do some building here in Bimaretta and in Blimen. There we go, finally. There we go. Repair that up. Oh, I, nope, 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 not that far. Not that deep. Just out here. There we go. Can confirm that. Blimmin' right. Yep, we gotta get the repairs going in there. Good, repair that. Repair Bordonius up here. Confirm that. We're good. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I don't use much else. All I got to do is get my oil pots back here. Oh, let's confirm that first. All right, good. So repair is done. So we still got to build up the castles on our new two newest uh, cities here, towns.
All right, so that's that. Um, first things first here. Let's take a look here. So we are 14,000. So we're less than 500 away from finishing this god-awful quest. So hopefully I've got enough weapons to do it. Uh, where are we in the leaderboard to, by the way? We're moving up here. We've actually been moving up uh, the bandit killer ranks here. So nice. Uh, let's see here. 47. So we are going to be almost up to 48. Once we hit 47 here for bandits, that's where the big, big gap comes in. Just like it is uh, for the wolf lairs. Uh, but we're slowly climbing up there. Fortunately, I mean, it, it's helped now that we've gotten the Lapu Lapu army back. As a matter of fact, let's go hit this guy. We'll send out these attacks as well. Do, 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 launch attack. Go. Alright, so we've got a couple more wolf flares to hit there. All right, got that wolf flare done. Can't hit these guys here. These guys are a little bit too big for our armies here. So I've got to wait till I get the uh, Don Mariano army back. And up here, we don't really have too much except, uh, you know, that guy we got to leave so an AI castle doesn't pop. Um, but these guys we've been hitting on occasion, but no real fighting that we have to do up here. Um, in the meantime, let's get some donations going. Let's see what we can do here. I don't think Benzani here let's see what we got in terms of all right so we got we don't have a whole heck of a lot of pikes and I think pikes is what we need in Don Mariano uh, Don Mariano Benzania Bordonius yes that might be a problem so let's go ahead and check Don Mariano here let's see what we can donate uh, and the next building I'm actually going to build here is going to be the iron uh, guild iron miners guild that we can beef up our iron mine production plus it'll make it easier for donations uh, for the um, final donation quest that we have here which is team player eight only 10,000 donations at least with this um, so hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier but before we do that we're going to do some of these other quests that should be fairly quick to do uh, that one, I think there was another one. Flourishing Trade, you know, get rid of that one. Uh, maybe Healing the Sick. Um, the Striking Fear. See, these I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end up having to do my own parish, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, Ride Like the Wind. I want to try to get that one. 100 stashes we got uncovered in, in uh, 24 hours. I think we got enough scouts and enough villages to be able to cover that. We just need enough of the stashes to grab. That's good. Let's go uh, let's get the rest of those. Is there anything else in particular we want to scout here? Uh, nah. Alright, so let's get into Don Mariano here. See what we can donate. That's upgraded, that's upgraded. Uh, that's upgraded now. All these should be upgraded except for this guy here. And we desperately need to upgrade this. Oh good, so we need, uh, bows are fine. So, um, let's, you know what, let's just go 100 bows. The more we can donate, the better. We'll go 100 here. That's 40 packets right off the bat there. That gives us another ballista tower we can build in our uh, parish castles. Gotta work on the parish castles here a bit too. Um, so I gotta see, because the problem is with the parish, I don't know if any of this resets or not. Um, I know most of everything else doesn't reset. I know the market, this resets. So all this stuff will be gone, uh, if I remember correctly. I just don't know if our supply in the parish resets or not. So that there is a problem. Hopefully this, hopefully this doesn't reset because, uh, or if it does, this doesn't reset because we're going to need supplies. All right, so there we go. So let's go ahead and Bizania. 
So we still we still don't need pikes. We still got more pikes than we need there. We just need to get armor here. So 142, 96. So we'll just donate from Bordonius here. We'll go ahead and donate 25. There we go. So I'm gonna have to get some bows here. Bows, bows, bows. So let's um, let's go ahead and do that. Which one is this? Benzania. Okay. All right. Um, trade. I want to trade. Trade, 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 trade. To Benzania. We want to trade some weapons, bows. Let's go ahead. Let's send all 40 bows. That gives us. 130. One seventy, so a hundred more bows we can take in Benzania. Why do I do ninety though? No, I don't want to do ninety. Let's do fifty. I'm going to send 50 from somewhere else. Okay, a little low there. Alright, so let's go 25 and 25 then. Grocers and vacation cabin. Alright, so good. That'll give us a nice amount there. Oh, you know, let's go send some armor too. Since we're maxed out on armor there. Fortunately, that shouldn't take too long to get there. Small wolf flare, good, no problems there. All right, so uh, Lapu Lapu, let's get into Lapu Lapu next, right? Don Mariano Lapu Lapu. Everything I think is maxed out here. Oh no, okay, so we get, we got some donations we can do here as well. Of course, I just sent a whole bunch of my supplies up. So let's go ahead and do some donations here. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's fortuitous. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do 100 from each here. Uh, 228. Let's go 50 each. This should actually finish off the quest, I think. We got more than enough. We don't quite have enough armor here. We only need 45 armor. Is anybody maxed out on armor here? Yep, right here. Bingo. Uh, let's see who else is maxed out on armor. You're close. You're maxed out. You're close. You're close. Everybody's pretty much close except for Vacation Cabin. Because we just sent stuff. So let's go ahead and do... Um, 15. Let's go 15. You did awesome. Good job, kiddo. All by yourself? Good job. That's awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll see you in a minute. I'm almost done here. Uh, thank you to my hosts, by the way. Let me thank my hosts. Nascent Games, Aaron DeBelge, Aerodash84, Mrs. Cracker Jacks. Oh, it switched up on me. Nascent Games, Mrs. Cracker Jacks, Lillian Cat. What else we got there? 
Recon Havoc. Oh, Recon Recon Havoc. Oh, dash 84, Alan de Belge and Annika. 838. Thank you, one and all, to my hosts this afternoon as well. It is much, much appreciated. So these are done. These are done. So we need here. So let's go ahead and do. Oh, let's get back here. Let's go. Less than 200 we got there. Less than. Uh, let's go ahead and go 40. Here. Grocers. Let's go ahead and do. Let's do 60. Beosar. Barthios. Oh, let's do 60 on Barthios. Lane. Sweet. Uh, let's go 40 because we still got a couple more levels to go here. So it doesn't matter if we go over at this point. All right. So we did vacation cabin. So let's go ahead and rock in with our bows here. Alright, so good. That gets that leveled up. Oh, now we can start donating our catapults. Uh, where are we at here? Oh my god, 774. Okay, we're almost there. We are almost there. 226 more packets to donate. Alright, so that's uh, that's good for Lapu Lapu. Let's head into Lavagan next here. See where we're at for love again. That's max. So we got that. We've got that. And we've got that. So we got a bunch of stuff we can donate here. So let's definitely go with this one. Pikes, let's go ahead and send five pikes in. That's not really going to help too much with the quest. But yeah, we got no bows here. Um, where are we at with Brave and all? 97. Might as well just do a hundred here. So I'm gonna have to trade some bows here too, but I'm running a little low on bows right now. But really, we only need 40 bows. Uh, so let me see who has merchants left here. Bawa has some merchants. Waving on's a little bit closer. Oh, good. Perfect. 40 bows. Let's go ahead and send 40 bows. There we go. Alright. So that's what we can do for Lavagan at the moment. So, what we want to do next, of course, is Mako. So we got the pikeman's yard. That's maxed out. So we got the pikeman's yard. And this guy. And this guy we gotta max we, we, we gotta level up as much as possible because we need those ballista in the two new villages here. Uh, as an aid against catapults. Because I would surely love to get this maxed out as soon as possible here and in Lavagan. Uh, that way the parish armies aren't quite as weak. But, um, yeah, I need, definitely need this. And uh, what are we missing here? Pikes. We need, we actually need pikes to get this up to level 9. So we're pretty close, but we, I definitely need to get this as leveled up as possible. And wow. 
We've got very little here. Got some Bimaretha. I traded earlier. I think I okay, here we go. Balakinwood. Let's do a hundred in Balakinwood here. Uh Bloomin. I think Bloomin I traded a lot of this stuff too here. Let's see, is anybody max? So Barrack is out of the question. There's nothing in Barrack. We got some swords in Barrian. Vimaretta's got bows and pikes, so let's go ahead and donate some stuff here. Let's donate, uh, let's start with 50. And we'll do 50 here too. So that takes, Barrack and Vimaretta are now out of the equation. Uh, Blimmin, all right, Blimmin has, uh, let's go ahead and do 100 bows from Blimmin. Alkinwood is 196, 155, 136. So Alkinwood has the most swords. So let's go ahead and do 25 swords. Now yeah, let's do 50 swords. So 175, 122. Bamaretta is out. Varian 27. We just did swords, so we can't do any more swords. Balakun's got some armor too. I'm gonna do 50 armor. There we go. So armor is done, swords are done. We need more pikes, and we definitely need more bows. Bows we're gonna we can do right now. So let's go ahead and do our 85 bows. So we just need pikes. 38 pikes we need. Let's see where we're at for this quest here. God, 108 yet. Whew. So tempted to throw down that Iron Miners Guild right now. But I, I don't, I gotta get more barracks place so I can use the rest of my parish armies here. I just want to get this quest over with. So 108 more packets. That's 100 weapons is 20 packets. So we need at least four cases of 100 weapons donated. That's a lot. Oh. Back to Mako here. Oh, thank you, Von Shadow, for the heals as well. Um, all right, at least let's get our pikes donated. 48, 25, 85, 84, 48. So these two guys here, so we'll go 40. Um, need 40, so we'll go 20 each. There we go. So that's leveled up at least. Uh, so let's get into our villages here. Uh, Blimmin. So that should give us one more. One more to throw down here. The question is where do I want to throw it in here? I want to put it here. Yeah, let's put it there. Uh, Blimmin Bimaretta here. I think I want to put this one here. Uh, let's put that guy there. Let's confirm that. So let's go ahead and get that tower built. That gives us almost 12 hours. Blimmin. Fill that one back in. So that gets us that gets us some good. That gets us good there. Alright, good. So uh Benzania's starting to get our stuff there. Check out the snake attack here. Good. 
Just go ahead and repair Balasar. And get back into here. See what we can do here. So we need. I need wood. So let's go ahead and buy 10,000 wood. That way we can place that guy. Uh, you know what, let's put you here. We can't do moats yet, can we? Oh, we can do moats. that far we just want to go up to the edge here I think what I want to do is start doing this as well that's right there so that's where the mode is so we want to do this it all right just gonna do moat up into here yes yeah, so it's gonna confirm that do the same for the poo the poo here the poo the poo doesn't need to buy anything so let's go ahead and do that confirm that do our moat. I think I went one too far there, but that's all right. Thank you, Dark Ritual, for the host. Much appreciated. Dark Ritual, another Twitch kitten there. Feel the Twitch kitten host in love. Oops. And that's about where we ended up. Oh, one more. One more. Now, lava gun might be the issue. Oh, okay, we have moots and lava gun as well. But we don't have any more of those, unfortunately. Not until we level up more. I think I want to start this here. Go there. Crimson Commander! Also, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Alright, good, good, good. 
Let's see what we can do here in Mako now. Good. Oh, we need to buy ourselves some wood. First and foremost. That built there. I went one too far on that one too. That's all right. Okay, we'll just keep rocking and rolling here. I think we're good there. Zippity doo da. There. All right. Good. All right, so that's what we can do there. All right, our goods are in to go here. Let's see how big this will flare was. Oh, a teeny tiny will flare. All right, good. So our army's almost back. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So we're going to get into our battle report of the week here shortly. Let's see where uh, our merchants are at. Oh, 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 oh. We got a stash. Let's get into scout that stash there. All right, looks like everybody got their trades there. Okay, looks like all the trades are done now. Good. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. here right a couple of wolfers there too i uh, yeah the, that's when we first started using the parish army here right around here we hit a couple of the wolf layers, so i did want to did want to highlight our our little uh, venture with that first time out using the parish army again only took the entire bloody age and e even then we're not going to be able to use the parish armies this age uh, age two usually tends to go so quickly it's really, it's really kind of disappointing how quickly it goes. Um, but at least there's no major parish resets anymore. All right, so we're okay there. All right, so let's uh, let's get into love again here. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, get the parish donations here. Boy, even on. Donate them 35. There we go. All right, so now we got an extra ballista tower. <coughs> uh, where are we at? 172, 195. So let's go ahead and do 25 here. Pikes 260, 26. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, back here. So let's go 50. There we go. Now, of course, bows are going to be a bit of an issue till we get some more bows. But that's that. How are we crawling? Crawling. Oh, look at that. Less than 100. We only need 78 more packets to donate. Let's get into uh, Don Mariano now. Get those donations running. That is right. Yep, 
Yep, that is the last one that we need here. Yep, we're going to donate 100. Benzania. And then we're going to donate another 100 from Benzania. Alright, so there we go there. That gives us another one there. Uh, Bordonius 117, 255. So Bordonius actually has more swords. Let's go ahead and donate 50 swords. I probably, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to over donate swords though. Go ahead and donate to 50 armor. Should really donate pikes. How close are we? God, 78. 78 more packets. Ay, ay, ay. We are right there. Alright, in the meantime, let's get into the lava again here so we can throw in throw in this guy. Get that ballista. Boom. Boom. All right. So Mako, Lob again, Poo Poo, Don Mariano. Okay, so everybody's building up. Yep, equally. Excellent. Less than a day. Perfect. Okay. Good there. We're getting started. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, might as well wrap things up. Head on into uh, Battle Report of the Week, I think, here. Uh, that's pretty much all we can do. So we're going to be a little short, so we'll be finishing uh, we'll be finishing the this quest this week, then. Um, we're, oh, so close. Almost there. So we'll be doing some more quests this week. Get them out of the way. Rock and roll. See how big this oh this was a big guy here. Look at him go! Woot! We got in there. Gave us a nice bit of wolf kills though. Alright, so let's take a look at these bandit camp. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at the enemy attacking Blimmin first. A nice bit of honor for it, but man, this thing wrecked our castle for God's sakes. Because of those freaking catapults, and of course, as you can see, we've got no ballista here to help defend against them. And these are the only archers we have available for defense. Where is our. Oh, you know what? We don't even have a tunnel. We don't have a tunnels, uh, tunnelers either because we don't have these. Again, both these villages that we got here uh, were uh, formed after the age change, so we don't have we can't put tunnelers down, which is another problem. So yeah, we're gonna have to get the tunnelers guild built. Well, the tunnelers guild uh, we're gonna have to get built up anyway, uh, so we can increase the number of tunnelers we have again instead of the base base of five. I still got to do my research, too, before I forget. God, they just come in and just wrecked everything, man. Just friggin' wrecked everything. Oh, did I lose that? I think I might have lost a smelter, too. I forgot about that. Yep. I completely forgot to rebuild that smelter. 
guy had that one there. I think I re forgot to rebuild the smell uh, rebuild the smelter. Not one catapult destroyed. Now it's just a matter of getting all their uh, swordsmen down. Oh, good golly. All right. So that was that. Uh, let's take a look at these wolf lairs. So this was the first wolf lair attack here from Lupu Lupu. Had, uh, it only had, we basically only had archers available that I had to recall from all my cities or for all my villages because, uh, of course, I were, was using them for defense until I could get enough barracks built to reuse the army. Um, so now that we've got them, so I threw in five pikemen, just uh, basically five token pikemen, uh, just so I can get archers killed off, essentially, and be able to build uh, hire more pikemen. Uh, cause right now we have a limit of 375 soldiers we can hire for the parish. So when we have 375 archers, we gotta kill a few of them off so we can, you know, have room for pikemen. So that's essentially what this first attack was about. In and done. So that did the job nicely. But of course we uh, we did so. We hired some more pikemen to take care of the other wolf lair. So sort of on track for how we want the army formation set up at this point. In and done. Typical army formation there, as we like it. So let's take a look at these bandit camps here. So this is Baron. So some of the, these first few here are just our uh, just our villages attacking bandit camps as we can. I mean, pretty standard fare for the most part. Just. Uh, Taking a look at the different layouts we have here of well, the bandit camps. We had quite a few different layouts to uh, hit here, but really nothing, you know, minimal losses on e even these these big ones here. So nothing really fancy, nothing really to worry about. Oh, the gatehouse is back here. Okay. Boom. Excellent. 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 So this smaller, smaller guy here. Most of these attacks I did without scouting, so they were all blind. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. That attack on us was going south fast. But that 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 just goes to show you how much a difference that ballistas can make uh, against major assaults. Um, now, otherwise, if I if, you know my full rate, you know, if I had the full ten ballistas in the village, not one no, no towers would have been destroyed at all. Um, that that's how much a difference uh, ballistas will make. That's why I gotta get them built before the siege camp returns in Mako. I mean, now we got a bit of rep reprieve this week as the siege camp's gone now, so uh, she'll give us a couple more days to get the donations in and, and get a couple more ballistas built, which should hopefully uh, save us that save us that agony of having to spend three or four days rebuilding uh, the damage. Some small fries here.
So now the parish army comes in for the attack. This is almost like a, uh, what is it, what are they called, the, the lawn mazes, the turf mazes? This, this, uh, this, this is what this kind of layout almost reminds me of there. Oh, well, we're under attack again. Oh no, that was still Borneth, okay. Not yet, Berrien, so not yet. Which one? Benzania. Beric. Lupu Lupu. Okay, so these last three are uh, parish, uh, parish attacking. Yep, snake attacking Bawa. All right. You know, let me get my research in while I'm thinking of it. Um, this is the question. What do I want to research? Granary. Maybe I want to research granary capacity for uh, the help with the donations a bit. So I think we're pretty okay. Oh, excuse me, pretty okay now on our uh, basic pro uh, farming productivity. I'm going to have to check that though. Oh, you know what? I think I want to beef up my peasants. I think that's what I want to do next. Beef up some of the army stuff again. I don't really need to do anything here yet. I think I do want to beef up some of our military stuff here. Mm, you know what? This might come in handy since we are still going to be doing a lot of attacking with our village armies. Let's go ahead and do that one next. You got a cherry lollipop? Yay! All right, let's go ahead and wrap it up. We'll wrap it up with these three from uh, Lapu Lapu, and then the rogue attack, and we'll call it an evening because it is it is a lot later than uh, I had anticipated doing here. So Lapu Lapu marching in for victory now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So these are the two bandit camps that we attacked during the show today. Let's see what we got here. Pretty standard, nothing much to lose. Losing a few archers, but that's really to be expected. Nope. But all in all, not bad at all. Rocking and rolling the bandit camp attack. So let's take a look at Libby here attacking uh, Tercicia Terc uh, Tercicia 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 Let's take a look at this attacking um, I think this was a gold raid if I'm not mistaken. Yeah gold raid So no defense build up in the parish yet, so that doesn't help they essentially just march right in here. And took 4,500 gold. Not a whole lot, but still. Uh, it's the point of uh, just attacking House 1 without provocation. So uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of a... Uh, Was that I deleted that too. Dang, napped it. I think it was more wise than let's do this. Nope. All right. I think she may have gotten reset already. She was up here. I always do that. I delete the reports before I do the search because I'm almost invariably typed the search wrong. Anyway, well, that is that. We gotta get running here anyway. Thank you, one and all, for the hosts again. Again, be sure to check out um, the links down below as well. 
uh, the live stream window, but uh, also in the Twitch highlight of these videos, as well as the upload on YouTube for our Extra Life donation uh, page and all sorts of other good links uh, to the Twitch kittens. A lot of Twitch kitten hosts out there. Thank you to all my fellow Twitch kittens for the hosts. Uh, links to the Twitch kitten store here. Uh, you can get some Twitch kitten merchandise and also links to our uh, RMG gaming store as well. Oh, let me point this way so you can get some RMG gaming branded merchandise as well. In addition to um, original artwork by Aaron, and original photography and digital artwork by myself as well. So go ahead, check out our uh, Streamlabs and DBH uh, RMG gaming stores and uh, help me to make the stream better by making a purchase. And you get something for it. You get a product. Uh, let me adjust that too. There we go. That's a little better. But anyway, thank you for joining me one and all. Uh, much appreciated today. Thanks for hanging out and chat, Cat. As always, good to see you. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll be able to get back to Guild Wars Inc. soon in a couple of weeks and uh, wrap up our Elonian adventures there uh, too. We're getting close. We're getting close to wrapping up the Elonian adventures, so we'll have uh, Cat and or Fury or Heidi or who knows joining us uh, for some more Guild Wars adventures in the near future in the meantime remember 69 days before we're in the midst of our marathon we'd be entering our third hour of the marathon right now uh so that means we'd still be doing some of our truck simulators this will be the final hour of our truck simulators in 69 days 354 dollars in for our team of judgment gaming me and battery h so give battery h some love as well as you can a nice guy uh, down in new orleans uh supporting the children's hospital of new orleans as we support the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia here for our Extra Life efforts. $80 in right now for initial $250 goal. Remember, $1,000 is the goal. If I can get that in before the marathon November 2nd, you'll see purple here. You might actually be able to see my hair. Um, can't see it very well with the lighting I have right now, but uh, maybe we'll be able to see the purple. Absolutely, eh? <laughs> There we go. In the meantime, thanks, Kat, and thanks everybody else out there for, who lurked, and thanks again to all my hosts out there today. It's much appreciated. It's BJ Waller saying, until tomorrow, uh, for 100 days of gaming, I will see you in-game. Enjoy your weekend, everybody.